my best advice is, you know, just keep going permit fishing. I mean, the more you do it, the more comfortable you get with it. The reality of the situation is, is most people only ever get to go one week a year and they look forward to it all year long and you know, you just got to keep your cool out there, you know, breathe. It's only a fish at the end of the day. Um, I consider it a successful permit day, A, finding the fish, B, seeing the fish as an angler, and C, putting the shots. If you consistently, if you're getting 10 shots a day and you're consistently putting five or six shots where they need to be out of those 10, you've had a successful day. You know, if you've put only one or two shots out of those 10, you know, um, you need a little bit more improvement. You know, you need to work on your, maybe it's your cast, maybe it's communication with your guide, whatever that may be. Um, but yeah, I mean, for me, it's like if I go somewhere, if I'm going to go to Florida and fish in the Keys, or I'm going to go down to the Bahamas and fish there in the summertime for some big ocean fish, you know, I'm going to go with the guide, I'm going to listen to the guide, I'm going to go out there and, you know, I get, when I'm on the bow personally, I see those permit and mentally in my head, I'm already beating him at his own game. I'm already thinking where I'm going to put the fly, I already know how I'm going to fish the fly. I'm always, I try to be a step ahead of the fish. You know, I'm calm, cool and collected and, you know, it's, uh, that's, how I, that's how I fish for permit. I just, you know, I'm breathing, I'm staying calm. Don't let my heart rate get up because then it gets the best of you. Um, and just try to put that fly where it needs to be. Once you, like I said before, once you consistently get that fly where it needs to be in permit fishing, your hookup rate will start to go up.